What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the workspace overview inside of Premiere Pro for all the people just beginning. Now let's get started. So this is the basic overview of the workspace that you see when you open up a new project inside Premiere Pro. As you'll notice, you'll see no video, no text, nothing included already. This is a blank canvas. And you'll see there's different panels throughout the program, to the left, to the right, down here, this little sliver here, and then also the main one down here. And I'm going to talk about what they are. So this section that's right here in the blue, this is the timeline space. This is where you're going to cut it, make it smaller, add effects. This is where you're going to string out everything and make your project and build your movie. Head over to the left. These are all the different tools you're going to use to be able to cut and slice and add text and all the different things. Here to the left is the project panel. Now this is where you're going to import footage. This is where you're going to store all of your videos. You're going to store all of your photo, music, sound effects. Everything's going to be stored in here. And if you head up here to the top, this is the source panel. Down here, when you from the project panel, when you decide there's a clip you want to start from and you want to start using, let's just say it's a 10 minute interview. Once you select the video from here, it'll appear up in the source panel and you can then dissect out of that 10 minute video, you can pick and choose the one or two minute sections you want from that to then pull it and drag it down into the timeline. So you're not wasting time in the timeline sorting through your larger footage. You can do quick views here, place in and out points and just select the, the specific area you want. And then also I'm going to make later videos going into more detail specifically to each of these panels in its own video. This is just a quick overview. And here to the right, this is the program panel. When you have all of your items in the timeline here and you're working on them, this will be a display monitor so you can see in full how it all plays together. So when you have two or three clips down here strung together, you can play it and see how it plays out in this window like a monitor. So you'll notice here up on top, I have a few different buttons. There's an import, edit, and export button. So this is just essentially how you start when you start the project and you import footage. The edit, which you see is highlighted, is where we are now because at that point you'll be editing the project and making the project. And then there's the export. When you're finally finished and you want to export it to a movie and put on YouTube or export it in a DVD or whatever you want to export it to, that's that section. If you click the import tab here, it'll take you back to the area where you want to sort through footage you have to then import into the project click back on the editing. So this is the editing workspace like you saw before. And then if I click export, this is the export section when you're ready to go to make the final export when the movie is complete. I'm gonna go back to edit, come over here to the right, and you're gonna notice this first little tab here. Inside this workspace, this is a basic edit workspace. But say you're in, you're doing audio production, you wanna to switch to the audio workspace. You can come down here and click on audio and it's gonna change everything around to make it more friendly for when you're doing audio production. Or if you're changing to color and you're working on the color, switch it there. And this is a better layout when you're doing color or essential graphics. So if you drop down here, these are all the different tabs for the specific task at hand. But I'm gonna go back down to the basic editing tab, which is the basic standard page that most people use. And then come down here to the right, this little section here. These are a uh, sound meter bar. So when you're playing with sound or music and you're trying to make sure you get it on the right page, you can see where the levels are for each sound so you can manually see them to make sure everything's blending together smoothly. And that is a very basic overview for someone just getting started to where if they might be opening the project and they're not sure even what these all are or what they're intended for, this is a basic overview for that person just starting out. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. And if it did, please give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more editing videos, please subscribe to my channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.